Cause I'm a horse's ass. Cause I'm a horse's ass. Okay, boys and girls. Should I try to paint my wheels? Huh. Don't know. Kind of leery. I don't know. Anyway, we just uh, serviced the car. Did I crawl down on my hands and knees and look under it to see if it was leaking? No, nope, we didn't. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna back up. Then we're gonna look. Do we see any oil puddles? Nope, we don't see no oil puddles. We don't see no stinking oil puddles. From that Ching Chang Chong China oil. Excuse me, you just gonna stare at the dash for a moment. We need a seat belt. Make ourselves a little legal. Even though we're probably not legal. Don't even have a driver's license. Well, I have one, I just don't have it in my possession, but it'll be all right. I'm not going far. I didn't even lock my house. It tells you how far I'm going. I'm just gonna drive it down the road and make sure everything feels good. Make sure I ain't leaking when I get back. Everything seems good. We got nine minutes left of battery life. Wow. Gideon's the Bugins lock. There you go. The bullhorn view. Anyway. If it's shaky, it's shaky. Can't help it. I'm driving with my right hand, of course. Just holding the camera with my left, and to be honest with you, I'm not even looking at what I'm aiming the camera at. I'm just driving. I can drive one handed I did for quite some time. Had a real bad left left shoulder injury, which is still my left shoulder still screwed, but it um my left arm was useless. That laid in my lap and I drove a semi, changed gears also. Yep, I did it. I drove with my knee. I drove like this. Ah, how are you doing? Wait a minute. I can see I can even change lanes. I can drive pretty good with my knee. But uh anyway. Appears we got the good old crown all straightened out, so. We might grab another battery and get Mater out. I may go check some mail. Yep, don't know if there's anything there. Probably not, but I kind of want to drive Mater, so we may do that. Let's put the crown in the backyard. It's all good and serviced and ready to ride. The thing I do is paint my wheels. I may go check my mail and if I've got mail or don't have mail, if I get back in the sky, doesn't look any worse. We may uh, indeed uh, paint some wheels tonight, but I gotta make a match. I decided to go with uh, Gloss. Best wheel paint in the world, engine enamel. The ceramic engine enamel. I don't like Duplicolor, okay? I like VHT stuff, but Duplicolor for wheels, I can't get this plastic thing off. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it's got that crazy fan tip on it, let me see, that I do not like. Oh yeah, this stupid ass spray nozzle. I hate these things, they're aggravating. But anyway, we're gonna paint it, paint our wheels with that. It stays on them very well. It's like, you know, engine paint, literally. It can handle heat, it can handle abuse. It's real strong paint, so. Anyway, best thing in the world to use for your wheels. They make it in a color, it's real close to the Argent that most wheels are too, so. Anyway, let's grab a battery and grab Mater. Okay, let's do a non, factory modification. I had a, a spare wheel that came off another car which had a real good tire on it. I had it in the trunk of my car. Found out I had a warped wheel so I had to use that wheel. That wheel had been painted um, had been painted gloss black. That one wheel on the car looked real good. Even though they're not supposed to be gloss, I kind of liked it. So to match, I got to make my wheels match for one and for two um, they needed a coat of paint anyhow. Paint was starting to turn kind of gray looking and they really look gray now. Tell you a trick to painting your wheels. Everybody says get out the sandpaper and start sanding. Wrong. Get you a, a Brillo pad or an SOS pad. A soap pad. Yeah. Get you a soap pad and your bucket of water. Use you some good degreaser. You know, I used purple power. Got all the tire slick them off my tires and everything. As you can tell, they look just plain. I mean, they're just bare rubber. Anyway, it eats all that crap off. And you wash your wheels, scrub your wheels down with that SOS pad. That right there is basically the same as wet sanding them, really. It, um, It'll give it a bite, gives it a roughed up finish. So we're gonna paint them. Don't tell nobody. This is how I paint wheels. This is my guard. And I don't just paint the wheel all the way around. I start in the center. When I get to the outside, I move my cardboard around. You'll see. You don't 
don't need 500 coats of paint either. You just need to just start. Just mist it on and go back for a gloss. You don't need to paint the inside of the wheel really. Just up to where the hubcap doesn't cover. So we're gonna work on that, lay that down. We're gonna work on getting this getting the wheel itself painted. And you can pretty well paint the wheel itself without uh, masking the tire in any way. And if you do accidentally get some on the wheel, on the tire itself, you can use uh, lacquer panel and get it off or once again use your Brillo pad. A lot of people like to put tire slick on a wheel before they um, paint them. And you know, everybody's got their own way. Some people use Vaseline. This paint here has a weird leveling property. You gotta be careful with it. You can actually create uh, a crappy looking wheel with it real easy. But as you see, even though I hate these plastic, pretty well paint the damn wheel without uh, any mask. What you do with this is you just take it, you start it in between the tire and the wheel. Sometimes one is better than two, but we're looking like rain, so we're going to speed up this process and try to use two. I may tear this apart, but once you get it rolled around the first time, kind of get it in there. And I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing, but it guards the friggin' tire from the paint. And you can paint that lip. We're wanting to get still yet. Looks like some a little bit of paint rejection on that lip. And it's probably from tire slick. I'd have been better off with just one, by the way. And we are going to go back to one. We're going to rip this part. Tear it apart and we'll just fold that duct tape over. I hope you can see. We're better off with one. Two's too much. I never tried it with two before. I always just used one, and yes, this is what I always used. Uh, it's what I had on hand the first time I ever did this, so we used it. So that's what we do. And I'm really not liking how this paint's leveling, by the way. Like I said, it levels funny. It's engine paint. Strangely, it really does. It levels out real weird. So, you know, maybe it looks better with drives. We're hoping so. I mean, of course, it's a wheel. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, the wrong way. Another reason I don't like it is it's just so damn spray nozzles. And you always get paint on yourself. But if you're real, real careful, you don't paint your tires. So, we're being real careful. So we don't want to paint these uh, $800 tires. That's for sure. And moving the car, or the wheels off the car, yes, that'll make it easier. But we're not going to do that either. We're doing it the way we're doing it, so. And I hate wheel weights on these wheels, but it's a requirement. You've got to run them on the outside. If you don't, you get a static instead of a dynamic balance, and it doesn't uh, ride well. So I always like to paint my wheel weights. Makes the wheel look better, that's for sure. And once you get so much paint built up on your little card that you're using, it's usually a wheel, usually do use two of these. You'll um, swap back to the other one that I had. I had two on purpose. I had out here. Paint the dark. Yeah. Move it down a 
little bit right there. Get that one last little bit. We've got a wheel painted, so now we're going to go around the face of the wheel. Give it one last quick coat just to blend in what we just did. Because paint, layers of paint will melt the other layers of paint, so get a true finish that's not blotchy it's about what you got to do. So. You can see a little bit of that. So. Anyway. There should give us a nice glossy wheel. A little bit of work, a little bit of effort, but it should be a good looking wheel when it's all said and done. At least that's what we're hoping for. See y'all. Oh yes, they're painted and they're wet. Hmm. Yeah. I let my paint flash. I paint cars this way. I painted that that way. I let my paint flash to where it's not sticky to the touch anymore, but it's by no means dry. When it gets to that point, Hose it down in cold water. Wouldn't do it to clear coat, but I do it to anything that's a single stage paint, including automotive paint. I found that you get a better shine and a better hold out on the paint. I don't know. An old fart once told me that. Works pretty good. It also helps if you get bugs in your paint when you're painting. Yep. Got some red grease on the car. Darn. Guess I have to wash this thing. Got a bunch of crap on it, but anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the that's my trick to painting wheels, as you've seen, and they're painted. Are they perfect? Oh no. There's a little. That ain't a soupy sager, but you can't really see it. The water drops hide it, but there's a little soupy sager on top of that red can too close, and there's one on the other side, just a little one, but you can't see it. If you're down there inspecting my friggin' wheels, piss on you. But anyway, I was in a hurry. Look at this sky. I mean, come on. I wanted to get the paint to the point that it was, you know, dry enough to be wet before it rained. So, anyway, see y'all.